Oh! Fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, Piccolo! I'm Silver! Chickamoo Joe was an outlaw, one of the worst in the entire southwestern part of the state. You can't get me! You ain't got enough law to get Chickamoo Joe! Chickamoo Joe hated his fellow men, particularly lawmen. Tin Horn! I sent you to get me, huh? You ain't got enough law to get Chickamoo Joe! Ranger and Tonto had found a seriously wounded man lying unconscious near a water hole. They had made camp on the spot and had done all they could for the middle-aged stranger. No hope for him, Tonto. Just a matter of time. Isn't that right? All wound, plenty bad. We should regain consciousness long enough to tell us who shot him. Me know who shot him. You do? Ah. One bullet go through badge of deputy sheriff. Chickamo Joe. Always put one bullet through badge. Him hate lawman. Chickamoo Joe, huh? Ah. A man the law can't get. This fellow shot plenty time. Chickamoo Joe, always empty gun. Now, this man is either a Spaniard or a Mexican, Toto. He's wearing mighty fine clothes. That's right. He didn't buy those clothes on a lawman's pay. It's funny him wear bar- badge of lawman. I wish we knew more about him. Toto. Him move. I miss... I miss the chance. Your name. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Rigo. Rigo. Is that it? Yes, your badge is from Callaway County. Is that right? Say, si, senor. And Jim Barnett is a sheriff in Callaway County. Tell him... Uh, Rigo tried. Did Chickamoo Joe shoot you? He... He shot... Chickamoo shoot me. He shot and shoot and shoot. Six times he shot. He dirty killer... That's the end, Otto. Ah. We bury him here? No, Otto. Not yet. I'm going to ride into the county seat and tell Sheriff Barnett about him. Ah. You wait here till I get back. How 
far did you go, Sam? Sheriff, I rode almost to the county line. I stopped at every ranch house on the way. I didn't find hide nor hair of Jose Rigo. Oh, gone at all. I hope nothing's happened to the old gent. You should never let him take on a deputy job, Sheriff. He's not much older than me. Yeah, maybe so, but he's lived the life of a gentleman. He ain't up to long hours in the saddle and the hardships of a trail. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about what'd happen if he met up with Chickamoo Joe. Sheriff. Uh, masked. What's that mask mean? Sheriff, I brought something for you. Here. A badge. What? There's a hole in it. Did you issue that badge? I did. Where'd you get it? I was with the owner when he died. He... He was a Mexican? Wearing fine clothes? Yes. He said his name was Rigo. Jose Rigo. Poor critter. Sheriff... He wanted you to know that he tried. Mm. And he told me who shot him. I know who shot him. It was Chickamoo Joe. The dirty skunk. I know his mark. Look up there in that wall. Four badges, each one with a hole drilled through it. Every one of the holes was made by Chickamoo Joe. And every bullet that made a hole took the life of a deputy. Rigo didn't look like a deputy, Sheriff. He shouldn't have been one. Why did you swear him in? I'll show you why. Look here. You see that there badge? Yes, that was worn by one of the finest, bravest, handsomest young gents I ever knew. His name was Tom Rigo. Oh. His father crossed the border a long time ago. He settled here and made a fortune in cattle. Married a girl from Tennessee, and they had a son they called Tom. I see. Rigo was pretty hard hit when his wife died a couple of years ago. After that, he figured the sun rose and set on young Tom. Tom became one of your deputies? Yes, he did. And Chickamoo Polecat got him. Well, that's why Jose became a deputy. Yeah. He wanted to square things. I'll never forget the vow he made over his boy's grave. He said he was going to get Chickamoo Joe or die trying. I tried to stop him, but it was no use. I swore him in so as he'd have the authority to act. Oh, gone and all. Where'd you find Jose, mister? About two hours' ride toward the northeast. I left a friend with his body. The sheriff... Want me to pin Jose's badge up there on the wall next to his boys? I reckon so. Oh, just a minute. Sheriff, may I have that badge? You? The man who wore it made a vow. I'd like to carry on in his place. You mean you aim to go after Chickamoo Joe? Yes. I want to bring him in. Alive. Oh, you've got to find him first. Sheriff, while I've been here talking to you, I've been thinking over a plan. Yeah? What kind of a plan? To get Chickamoo Joe and get him alive. How? Well, Rigo lived for several hours after the killer left him. There are only four people who know that he's dead. You and Tonto know it. The deputy knows it, and I know it. Uh, what about it? Send a wagon out and bring Rigo in. Take him to his home. After dark, bury him secretly. Let everyone think he's getting well. What good would that do? I want to take his place. You? Yes. I want to live in his home for a short time. Could you arrange that, Sheriff? Why, well, I guess I could. He's got a place just south of town. Big ranch. He was a tall man, about my size. I think I can wear his clothes. Yeah, but your face is... A lot can be done with disguise. You don't talk like he did. Al contrario, senor. Is it the vendor? Well, what? Well, I'll be hanged. Que I? What is the matter, amigo? Mm, you aim to bring Chickamo Joe out of hiding so as he can make another play. That it? Help me try this plan, will you, Sheriff? Yes. My thunder, I'll try anything to get that killer. Oh, who's over, oh boy? Oh, steady, big fellow, Masabi. You get back here plenty quick. <laughs> steady. Otto, we're going to try to catch Chickamoo Joe. Oh, mm, that good. A wagon's on the way. I'm going to return to town and take the place of Jose Rigo. Live in his house and wear his clothes. You've got a plan? Yes. Now, that depends on you. You've got to follow the trail of Chickamoo Joe. You've got to find him and talk to him. You must make him believe that Jose Rigo is still alive. Ah. Let him know that Rigo is determined to get him at all costs. There's going to be a reward of $5,000 for the capture of Chickamoo Joe. Oh, that plenty of money. Who offer rewards? It's to be offered in the name of Jose Rigo. The handbills will be posted as soon as they can be printed. Can't you see him putting up a handbill? Oh, handbill, eh? Baldy ain't gonna like it. 
Is anything makes him sore as a boiled owl, it's to have handbills nailed up in the front of his cafe. Well, this here's official business for the sheriff's office, and Baldy can either like it or lump it. Now, get along. Don't interfere with me. Hey, uh, Samuel. Wendy, I told you to get along. But I want to ask you something, Samuel. Just an ordinary something. Mm. I see that you ask without getting started on one of them long, drawn-out speeches of yours. Yeah, what's it say? Huh? The handbill. What's it say? Doggone. Can't you read plain words? I, uh, <clears throat> I don't do so good without my glasses. Glasses. <laughs> you old coot, you never had glasses in your life. It says, reward. $5,000 reward for the capture of Chickamoo Joe. The rest don't matter. Hey, Cracky, that's a downright self-respecting reward. Who's laying out that kind of cash for a buzzard that ain't worth two bits? Yeah, it says right here that the reward is posted in the name of Senor Jose Rigo. Now go on, get. I got work to do. Uh, <coughs> Samuel? You still here? Oh, no, Samuel. Don't get all riled up. I was only wondering about Mr. Rigo. Well, what are you talking about? I've been trying to see him for the past two days, ever since he got back from hunting for Chico Mojo. Well, he can't see no one. Well, every time I go to the house to see him... I find a couple of special guards from the sheriff's office, and they shag me away. We go promise me a job at his place, but I can't get it if I can't talk to him. Talk to his foreman. I've done so, and he's wondering about Rigo the same as me. He says Rigo got shot up somewhat by Chigamo. Even the foreman can't get to see him. And there's no use of you trying. Well, I know he's to home and up and about, because some of the boys have seen him sitting at the window. He won't talk to no one but Sheriff Barnett. Yeah, well, I sure could use me a job. Well, I'll give you a job. Here, take this hammer. Huh? Let me see you tag up this handbill. You do it right, and I'll give you a job as my assistant. Got to post them all over this part of the country. Oh, thank you, Samuel. I'll do it right. I can drive tax first rate. Come in, Sheriff. Well, I thunder every time I see you, I have to stop and think. Or I'd wonder how Rigo came back to life. That disguise of yours is a humdinger. Now, what's the talk around town? I just dropped in to tell you that the handbills are ready. Sam is putting them up. Good. It's up to that friend of yours to locate Chickamoo Joe. Yes, I know it. And even if Tonto finds a hideout, which no one else has ever been able to do, his troubles won't be over. Chickamoo Joe might listen to him... Or he might shoot him on sight. It's a toss-up. Word that Jose Rigo was alive and news of the big reward spread like wildfire. Handbills appeared on trees and fence posts over a wide area surrounding the town. Chickamoo Joe saw the handbills. He heard the news that Rigo was recovering from wounds. Then he hurried to his hideout to make plans. In the meantime, Tonto had made painfully slow progress. Finally, he came upon a wide expanse of level, arid ground. In the distance, by some freak of nature, a huge pile of sun-drenched rocks stood like an ancient castle. Drawing near, Tonto saw a wisp of smoke rise from the rocks. It was the hideout of Chickamoo Joe. <laughs> Tonto was certain he'd been seen by the killer, yet he advanced toward the pile of rocks. He was nearly upon them when a rifle cracked. <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Chickamoo Joe's hideout had been well chosen. His camp was in the midst of a huge mass of boulders that served as a natural fortress. Located in the midst of a wide, flat area of open plain, the killer could see who approached from any direction. He saw a tunnel near the rocks and fired a warning shot. That's a warning. Right up. Who's come, fella? Oh, oh, fella. Who are you? What do you want? Who are you? You'll find out. Get off that horse. Steady, scout. Steady, fella. Steady. That's it. Now turn your back to these rocks and hold your hands above his shoulders. If you love him, you not shoot Indian in back. You stay right there and keep your back to me. I need to know all about you. I don't like what I learn now. Send him a first slash meal for buzzards. Easy now. I'll take that gun from your holster. Yeah. Stand still while I search in a, uh, a knife, huh? Me got no other weapon. I'll find out for myself. All right. I'll keep your hands where they are. Turn around. As Tonto turned, he saw a short rifle held by grimy hands. Then he saw the greasy, dark-skinned face of Chickamoo Joe. It was a face that held deep lines of cruelty and evil. The face of a killer whose soul was filled with hate. Tonto remembered the part he had to play. You, you not lawman. Me, I hate lawman. Why'd you say that? Plenty lawman around here now. Plenty feller and hunt for killer. You don't seem to want to meet lawman. Plenty time. Feller with badge, stop Indian. Ask him where paint horse come from. I see. That is a pretty fine horse. Looks downright suspicious for a redskin to want a mount like that. Would you steal it? Oh, it's my horse. Me have him long time. Maybe it's time the critter got a new owner. A man as important as Chickamoo Joe. You? <laughs> you ought to ride the best horse can be found. You, Chickamoo <laughs> Joe? What of it? There's plenty big reward for you. You come from town? That's right. Is it true that Jose Rigo is still alive? Reward posted by Rigo. Looks like you get careless. I can't understand how he could live through what he got. I better finish that job. That's why big reward posted. What's that? Handbill all over. So you see, Rigo's still alive. If you go try and get him, you find plenty of in an ambush near house. Oh, so that's it, huh? They're waiting for me to go after Rigo. Why, the ornery drag gulch and bad stooters. Fixing to trap me, are they? You go near Rigo house, and law get you. Uh, take that horse into my camp amongst them rocks. I want to talk to you. Uh-uh. Come, Scout. Come, fella. Don't try no tricks or I'll bend your spine with a bullet. Tonto played upon the ego of Chickamoo Joe for nearly an hour. Carefully choosing his words... He won a measure of the killer's confidence. I don't see how anyone could live after the way I shot Rigo. Uh, maybe him smart. What do you mean? You mean he's smarter than me? You look. Here, look at the shirt. Me got flat piece of heavy metal. Here, <clears throat> you see? Give me that. Did Rigo carry something like that? Oh, uh, me not know. He might have. Maybe that's why he wasn't killed. Well, I won't make that same mistake twice. Maybe you not get second chance at Rigo. Why not? Reward, plenty big. Plenty fella want it. Them all think you go near Rigo sooner or later. Oh, I see. Them say you plenty proud. You sure to go. I suppose everyone will laugh at me if I don't make a play for Rigo, huh? I see I turned yellow. Water. Hmm? Not better than you walk into trap. I got to get to him. That's all there is to it. I got to get to him somehow. Uh, maybe me help, huh? You? Uh, maybe me fetch Rigo here. Why would you do that for me? Well, me get reward. I'd sure like to meet Rigo again. Just once more, that's all. Just once. Me go tell where you hide? You seem mighty anxious to get away from here. I don't know if it's safe to let you go. You might tell the law. Law, not pay reward. That's right. 
How do I know you won't tell Rigo and the law? Well, lawman come with the Indian. Lawman claim reward, and that's not good. That's exactly right. Those critters would do you out of every dime of the reward. You go get Rigo and fetch him here. Just the two of you. I'll get Rigo. You get the cash money he'll bring to pay the reward. Maybe I do not good. What's the matter with it? A smart man, no. You could shoot him. Come close. Here's how you can fix that. How? You tell Rigo you captured me. Tell him you got me all tied up and helpless. That'll get him. Be savvy. And don't try no tricks. On the return to town, Tonto rode at top speed. He didn't have to spend long hours searching for a trail. Nightfall of the same day found him at the sheriff's office. An hour later, the sheriff and the Indian were in the home that had belonged to Jose Rigo. They sat with a man whose disguise made him look like Lee Rigo, the Lone Ranger. Sure got to hand it to this Indian pal of yours. He followed a trail that no one else could have followed. Anyone go near there, Chickamoo Joe, get him. How far is it from the nearest cover to the rocks, Tonto? A quarter mile. There'd be no chance to sneak up on the killer. No chance. Suppose I'd better get about 20 or 30 men and surround that pile of rocks. Pick your men off like flies. Maybe we could lie back and starve them out. Yeah, he'd fight to the end. You'd never get him alive. Don't hold much hope of taking that killer alive. I'll be satisfied to get him in any way, dead or alive. Rigo made a vow to bring him in alive. Yes, but we... Sheriff, we decided on a plan. Yeah, I know that. And it worked well enough for Tonto to get back from that killer's hideout. But now... Now we must carry out the rest of the plan. Sheriff, how many deputies have you? Sam's the only one, but I can swear in a couple of special deputies. One more will be enough. I'll get windy. Have them near the edge of the woods at daybreak. And don't let them be seen by Chickamoo Joe. Doggone, I don't like being so close to Chickamoo Joe's hideout. Give me the whim-whams just to think of him being a quarter of a mile from here. You'll get more than whim-whams if you show yourself beyond the edge of the woods. You think that poor cat's watching this woods? I'd lay ten to one on it. He's hoping to see Tonto and Rigo break from the trees and head toward his rock pile. I see him. There they are. Hey, look. There's two engines. Why, sure enough. One of them's Tonto, but... Hey, they look just alike. Yeah. One of them is riding silver. Oh, I get it. He's the man that poses Rigo. Now he's dressed like Tonto. Oh, so, oh, let's go. Okay. Is it really you? Oh, big fella. I hope Chickamoo Joe is fooled. The only difference is in the horses. I'm I'm going to ride Scout. Kimasabi. Mean like, like plan. Better you let Tonto go get Chickamo Joe. I want to see him, Tonto. I want to show him a badge with a bullet hole. What's your plan? What are you going to do? I'm going to Chickamo Joe's fortress, Sheriff. He mistakes me for Tonto. You wonder what I have to say about Rigo. Here, give me your gun belt, Tonto. Me got only empty holster. Killer got gun. I know. What? You going to meet that killer without a gun? It's the only way to keep him off guard. Great day. Sheriff. If you hear three shots, it'll be the signal to come and take your prisoner. But you've got no gun. Chickamoo has the gun that came from this holster. I'll use that. Steady there, Scout. Take care of Silver, Tonto. Uh -huh. Me do it. Steady, Paint fellow. Come on, Scout. The Lone Ranger, disguised to resemble Tonto, held Scout to a steady gait as he advanced to the pile of rocks. Chickamoo Joe watched that advance through a narrow slit. He waited until the horseman reined up. Easy, easy, Scout. Easy, fella. Then he shouted. All right, Injun. This one, get your hands up. Steady, Scout. Hold it, boy. Where's Rigo? I'm coming in with you. The Lone Ranger chose what he considered the lesser of two risks. Instead of trusting his ability to imitate the voice of Tonto, he made no reply. Instead, he climbed the rocks toward Chickamoo Joe. I asked you a question. What happened to Rigo? Can't you hear me? At the top of the rocks, the Lone Ranger looked down at Chickamoo Joe. He saw the short rifle held in readiness. He saw a gun, a knife, and a killer's belt. He held a finger to his lips in a gesture of caution. I... I don't savvy. The Lone Ranger pointed toward the woods. He tensed and gathered his strength. He waited for the killer to move his eyes for just a 
fraction of a second. Then Chickamoo Joe glanced toward the woods. That's it! You... This is the end. You ain't tunnel. No! I'll kill you! Oh, will you? The killer had dropped his rifle, but he still had weapons. He dodged a short blow, leaped back, and snatched at his pistol. The Lone Ranger charged. Hot flame brushed his cheek as he dived at the killer's legs. The two went down on the rocks in a death grip. Joe had his knife. He strained with all his fierce strength to bring it to bear. Sorry to trick me, huh? They dropped the knife. Drop it, Joe. You can't win. I'll get my arm free. I'll let you go. Now, by thunder. Just now. And one for Rigo and his son. The Lone Ranger's blows made What's Joe that? drop his weapons. He followed up the advantage, driving blow after smashing blow to the face and body of the outlaw. Chickamoo gasped. He backed against the rock. Wait, wait. Listen to me. I'll wait, but you'll listen. I want you to know that I'm here because of Jose Rigo. I'm here because of this hole you put in the badge he wore. Rigo, he did. His vow has been fulfilled. You kill it! There he, he got him. Look, Sam. Windy. Great guns. We don't wait for third shot, Kimosabe. Those weren't signal shots. That don't matter. We're here, and you've laid Chickamoo Joe out cold. Sam, Windy, get ropes on him. Right. Come on, Windy. Oh, gone and how in blazes did you do it? Well, you see, Sheriff, Chickamoo Joe took his eyes off me for just a second. Oh, and that was all you needed, huh? Well, I'll bet wherever he is, Jose Rigo is smiling. I... I hope so. There's uh, just one thing I don't savvy. Oh, what's that, Sheriff? You were all fired anxious to take up Rigo's fight and fulfill the vow he made. Why was that? Sheriff, when I was quite young, a fine lady did a great kindness for me. Yeah? She, she came from Tennessee. She married a man named Rigo. Oh. He must have been a fine man. Just Heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 